In this video, we're going to be looking at what you need to do if you want to uh, do memory training for overclocking your RAM uh, and make sure that the PC is actually actively trying to train versus if it was just going to uh, sit there and you're going to have to clear CMOS or basically, you know, like run it at a lower speed or whatever. So what I have here, so this is the system that I built with the ASRock x670e steel legend so the ASRock motherboard this particular motherboard doesn't come with one of these which is a postcode debug LED display also known as a seven segment display uh, what I have here is I hooked one of these up to the UART one so for those that don't know what that means that is the debug interface for ASRock's motherboards so you can see here there's the ASRock UART flying line flying line running code. That's if you have it plugged into the PCI-X1 and then you have the transmit pin, I believe. That is a way to get it working. But the way I have it set up is this way. So I have the ASRock UART1 inline code running directly off the TPM. Now, these wires come with this debug card if you want to order this for yourself and get it working. I tried to test this on Gigabyte, but I don't understand how the pinouts work on the Gigabyte motherboard. And I Supposedly, it's supposed to work when you plug the PCIe into an X1 slot on the Gigabyte motherboard, but for some reason, I'm not getting any postcodes on that, so it's not really working for me. If somebody's familiar with using debug card with a Gigabyte motherboard, let me know how that's supposed to work, because I can't get it to work on Gigabyte, and I don't understand the TPM pinout for the X670 motherboards, and how you're supposed to connect that to the LPC2 or the LPC1. But anyway, that's kind of uh, off topic, but in the case of ASRock, it's pretty simple. As long as you have a UART1 interface, you can map the pin, the transmit pin, or the pin 1, which is the one that has what looks like the ground symbol. Look at that right there. You can see the very first pin, that one, is right there on the LPC2 connector. I don't recommend, this is the most janky looking setup that I have. This is essentially resting on the plastic a cover of the deep cool fan for the CPU and it's just held up there by the wires so it doesn't fall down but it could fall onto this metal and that could be pretty bad so anyway I don't recommend doing this definitely have some kind of insulation if you're gonna do this kind of setup but anyway what we're gonna do here now we're gonna power on the PC let me make sure that's not gonna fall look at that seems like it's okay we're gonna power on the computer and see what this debug code looks like I want to get into the BIOS. So you can see there it goes. Alright, and there's the post. So I'm going to spam the delete key. So I'm in the ASRock BIOS right now. You can see the RAM is uh, running at 6400 megahertz. It's 96 gigabytes on two DIMMs, so that's two 48 gig DIMMs. So I guess the conclusion is, if you are somebody who wants to try to t tune the memory, or even just overclocking in general, having a seven segment display or like a postcode like this is very handy if you're using a motherboard that doesn't include one of these. And it's unfortunate because it used to be pretty much almost all motherboards back in the day had a postcode debug and it can be very useful and I feel like in this DDR5 era that we're currently in with you know the Ryzen 7000 series and also the future Intel platforms obviously Intel you can technically do DDR4 but you are missing out on that memory bandwidth that DDR5 offers but having one of these is very useful now because memory training especially if you're trying to run dual rank DIMMs high density or even four sticks of memory as opposed to just two sticks of memory having one of these can be very useful in terms of getting understanding or having visibility into what your PC is doing what the UEFI is actively trying to do is it trying to memory train if you're on AMD you can expect code 15 to show up on this very very often and if you're on Intel you can expect to see a lot of memory codes cycling through we may take a look at that in a future video. I hope you guys found this video useful. Let me know in the comments below if you've used a debug analyzer for motherboards like this. 
And if you use it on a Gigabyte motherboard, let me know which Gigabyte motherboard you're using and how do you get it to work with Gigabyte. Because supposedly, plugging it in on the PCIe X1 is all you need to do, but Gigabyte, in the case that I've tested on the X670, Gigabyte doesn't display anything. But I can get ASRock to work with the UART1 interface. ASUS works with the TPM interface. I have not tested MSI yet, but I assume MSI, the they have like a J something interface, and I think that's what this would connect to. So I hope you guys found this video useful. Let me know in the comments if you've used one of these before, or if you're interested in getting one of these. It's not too expensive. The link is down below in the description of the video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.